The filmmakers came to the Coast Guard, our office, about a year and a half ago to uh, help to tell the story. And uh, they wanted to tell the story accurately and correctly. So we uh, provided them with access to uh, different historians that we have in the Coast Guard. And we reviewed scripts and helped them to kind of make sure that everything was correct. Dialogue, uh, period pieces, uh, the uniforms and procedures. Uh, really the things that make the movie what it is. Chris has been great. You know, uh, everyone's loved working with him and it's been a cool interaction to see, you know, people's faces light up when they, they see him. You know, and he's just been sitting down, he's become one of the guys just to sit there and just, how do you do it? He wanted to know the nuts and bolts of everything uh, and because he, he wanted to tell the story accurately. You know, he's on screen portraying one of the greatest Coast Guard heroes of all time and he wants to do it accurately. We took the director and also one of the lead actors, Chris Pine, uh, out to several Coast Guard stations on uh, both the East Coast and West Coast to introduce them to Coast Guard people, to let them meet the men and women that actually this story is really representing, and uh, let them see what drives them and why people choose to be in the Coast Guard. When they're on set and they're on stages, and particularly the, the big stage where you see the, uh, the ship in the background, uh, we helped ensure that you know, the men in, that were driving the boats were doing the, exactly how we would do it. You know, so what you see on screen is exactly what the Coast Guard would have done. You know, they drive the boats exactly like that. Their behavior and their actions in terms of rescuing uh, men in and out of the water is exactly how we would have done it. And that's how we helped to shape that whole craft.